DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey friends, welcome to part two of Tilescape Fronts. And we're going to uh, hit the table, finish those up. Uh, we just gotta paint them up, finish those up, then we'll go to the table and look at them, uh, what they look like set up with the tiles. So let's finish those up and then hit that table. All right, crafters, here's our front. We've black bombed it with flat black spray paint. We're gonna use uh, burnt umber, and we're basically gonna cover this whole thing. I use a lot of water in this application, uh, so it gets in all the cracks and all that kind of stuff. Just cover the whole front and back and side. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna do the little stone steps out front. So I'm just gonna use my damp sponge and kind of stipple that on the stone uh, stairway there. Just get a nice stone texture. Don't worry about it if you get it on the dirt there. It's all right, you can fix that up. All right, we got that. Now I'm going to use a lighter um, gray to kind of get the highlights on the edges there. A little bit in the center. There we go, nice, easy. Now I'm gonna use a tan or a coffee and I'm gonna color those areas in the building that aren't, the boards aren't uh, latticing. And you can see it's uh, looking like that medieval type architecture. It's a little dark for that, but I'm going to use that for the shading. So that's why I kind of put that on first. Now I'm going to use a, sp a spice brown and kind of paint that, uh, that dirt there in the front. So just uh, get all that text that nice texture popping out there. There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to use a lighter off-white and uh, very wet and just put it in these areas where I've put the tan and you see how that's starting to look more uh, like the medieval color that those uh, buildings have that kind of uh, plaster they put in there so there we go looking good all right cool I've got that all filled in now I'm gonna use a, a brown um, this is a lighter brown and I'm gonna put it on the boards that kind of lattice the building and uh, there we go, we got all those painted up. So looking good, looking good. Now I'm gonna do the door. I'm gonna kinda paint the uh, each individual board there so it kinda sticks out. So you can see the difference between the boards. I'm uh, stopping there because there's that crossbar on the board there, paint that in. All right, looking good. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of gray, a little bit of light gray on these boards to kinda make them look weathered. Kinda, kinda work it into the board there so it kind of mixes up a little bit. Looking good. Looking good. Put a little bit more brown on top of it if you get a little too much gray on there. Cool. Now I'm going to use a metallic black for the uh, kind of the diamond uh, pattern on the windows where the leaded windows would be. And that'll make it look like lead. So. Now I'm going to use a little bit of silver and I'm going to paint the doorknob. Now I did forget to, to uh, show you that I put the doorknob on in the last video. It's actually just a small bead. I just glued that on and I uh, used my goop to glue it. So here's the other building front. It's the outdoor uh, stone, or it's the stone front, right? So I'm going to paint this whole thing with my sponge and just fill it in. And you can see those little bricks we put on there, those little blocks kind of popping out. And they give it a nice texture without having to cover the whole thing with the blocks. Just gives the impression. All right, nice. Looking good. Really nice stone texture there. Then I'm going to paint the pathway there. All right, cool. I'll do the other side. All right, now some highlights. It's just a lighter gray. Just dab it on with that sponge there. really looking nice. Just e so easy to do with that sponge. Just be kind of light light handed at first. You don't want to get too much on. Alright, cool. Great. Alright, now I'm going to paint the base the same way I did the other one. Just with the spice brown. Bring that dirt texture out from the sand. Cool. Alright, now I'm going to do the uh, the doors and shutters. Now these shutters are just cardboard and they don't have individual boards but I'm going to kind of simulate that by using the brush technique there. 
and then I'll do the door there, same way. If you leave a little bit of that dark brown in there, it kind of simulates the separate boards, right? And doing the same thing with the light gray, kind of make them look weathered. All right, sweet. This is looking really good. So we're going to put this on the table and take a look at it. Now let's paint the doorknob that uh, gunmetal like I did the other. Let's hit the table and check these out. Ziggy, Granny needs water for cooking. Okay, Grandma, I'll go and get it for you. Let me get over to the wheel. Okay. Oh, get some water for Granny. Help. Let's make the cup soup for Granny. Help. Get back in the house. Here we go. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Over to Granny. Here you go for your soup, Granny. Well, thank you, Ziggy. All right, let's check out the house. Uh, move up to a better angle there. You can see a nice little house there on the tiles, but very accessible. Uh, easy to get in there and play with. And so there we go. There's Granny's house. Here's another front we did. Now this one wasn't in, the, I didn't construct this one in the video, but here's uh, Grandma and Ziggy going to visit some neighbors. And you can tell, you can put a little bit of uh, roof on there like I did with this one too. This is just very similar, just as I did the others, just added some more details, different details. So here's the second front we did, the stone front. And uh, we have Ziggy and Grandma coming in. And Ziggy's like, oh Grandma, why are we coming here to visit? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf wanted to, to have us come over for some dinner. Hey, if you like these vids, why not give your DM Scotty a like? Just hit that like button. Also, if you love the crafting, join us on Facebook and our forum group. And if you want to help out a DM Scotty, throw a buck in the tip jar. There's a little thing on the video. You can click on it and just chuck a buck in there. And if you want to really help out DM Scotty, uh, join Patreon. You will get my Crafter's Lair video magazine every month, chock full of uh, DM Scotty tips, DM advice, and extra crafts. So I hope to see you there and have fun crafting. Hey, Granny, I need to talk to you. Answer the door. Hello, Granny. Uh, Granny, come to the door. Oh, yes, what is it? Oh, uh, you're Granny. Oh, yeah, I'm Granny. Oh, yeah. Uh, Granny, what uh, long teeth and long hair and claws and things? You oh, geez, Scotty, really? You're going to make me do this.